watching the there's a food show on CNN from an actor. His name is Stanley Tucci. Oh yeah, been, I love Stanley yeah. Tucci. Okay, he does that show where he does like different broad stuff. In Italy. Yeah, yeah. And the, I'm telling you, Sam, this food in Italy that he finds is just like it looks amazing. We gotta at least go once. You think he's ever been food poisoned on the show? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I always I knew those too, scalps but... weren't fresh. He's just sitting over a toilet. Like exploding. nobody ever shows the next morning, like, <clears throat> like sitting over the toilet for two hours. Like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, like I'm not like I'm a math guy, right? So like, there at a I stats show. The, I want to see the non-glamorous side of yeah. The food show me the dark side of the Food Network. <laughs> I want to see the side where the guy's over the bucket just hopping up the bottle. <laughs> it's just black <laughs> tar throw up. <laughs> hocking up cuttlefish risotto because <sighs> it can't take it. <laughs> they don't show uh, any of tanks. <laughs> yeah, they only show you the good stuff. And I'm just yeah. a stats guy. If you do it enough times, everyone's had a little... S- Little suspect meal Somebody that's caused some stomach problems. Fuck them up, yeah. <laughs> like Bourdain would go to those fucking places in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. The thing about Bourdain it's is like flies he would go, flying he would around go, the meat. He would go anywhere. He would eat anything. <laughs> like imagine he must have he must have just had to coat his stomach with like we've three done, inches said, of Pepto. Yeah, <laughs> We've gone over this segment of <laughs> I know, but it's in stomach. It's like the lock jaws. Just like <laughs> his stomach acid must like melt metal. <laughs> you put it you know, down there. Like, those brand new viral videos that just came out like in the last two years where it's like a steel bin where these like claws are moving oh, like this. Just like eats everything. In, like motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> Just That's like boring. the little hands that like kind of move it through. Exactly. That yeah, guy though. But TVs, like, fucking... like, I can't even make it out of a Taco Bell. This guy's going through the depths of like, like some like tribe that has meat that's well, been not sitting at culture. But there yeah. are some places where the food isn't regulated. We all know that. <laughs> oh my god. Like, do you see the meat? There's like been out in the speeding hot sun. Not on ice, flies hovering around it, and this guy's gonna just eat it raw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do it too. yeah, it's so That's fucked. Crazy. He must have like three inches of Pepto. Like, what do you think he behind the scenes? What is he I bringing? Want, I want to see the outtakes. <laughs> I want to see the cameraman who's new to the job who had the tap water. Because you know there are some casualties on that crew. (laughs) I think there even was a few episodes of Bourdain where... Just sweating. (laughs) Where where he'll be like, the next day they don't film, and they show him, and he's like, I'm not feeling that well. But I don't know if it's usually because of the food, or if it's because, like, sometimes in these places that he goes, he gets, like, sick, like, just from a virus. Yeah, from like malaria, <laughs> all that well, shit that's malaria, around. But but uh, but like just different types of flus that you don't have here in this country, you know. That's the it, flu you virus. Know. It's like it has something like five thousand variations, right? My question, so, you, my question to you is: There's also what? fucking shit out there that doctors haven't even discovered yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's. The world is evolving every day. Oh my god, yeah. right? But my question to you, behind the scenes, what do you think he's packing? Like an Advil? There's no way. He's got to come, like, f- Bourdain, when he was going on these trips, he's like, you know he's packing, like, a Tums, but, like, extra strength, right? So it's basically like a chalk stick for your, uh, <laughs> for, like, a teacher. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. At that point, it's one of these things where you're, you're looking at it, like, it's, It's kind of funny, but at that point, he had been a chef. Before he did the show, he had been a chef for like 15, 20 years, right? Yeah, in a world 
class chef, which is crazy. Yeah, like an, yeah, exactly, like a world class chef. So fucking Bobby yeah. Flay, who's just who's just deep yeah. frying wings, just, just <laughs> or uh, who's the guy with the fucking yeah. the frayed gold tips there? What the fuck, Flavor Town? What's his name? Guy Fieri. Yeah, this I Guy Fieri guy. who deep Diners fries food. <laughs> <laughs> that just no speaks idea. middle America. <laughs> you have no idea. There's Anthony Listen. Bourdain who cooks up gourmet food, and then there's Chef Guy Fieri who deep fries French fries. <laughs> there was Sam. There was a, like a three and a half to four month stint where I couldn't find work, and I was sitting in a hotel room and I was watching episode after episode <laughs> of Diners Driving to Die right because there's like a million episodes of. Okay, <laughs> and I and I love the show so much that I then went and wrote a pilot about <laughs> a guy trying to make his own show. <laughs> Food USA, baby. Food USA. Yeah.